Hello viewers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in the previous video I showed you how to make a lemon and raisin cookie. Now I'm going to be showing you how to make the millionaire shortbread. Now if you haven't got the ingredients, head to the shops and go got what we need and pause the video if you wish. Now I have got some so, 125 grams of butter, as well as the 60 grams of castor sugar. And also, I've got some 190 grams for the, for the shortbread recipe. Now what I've got to do is put use either the mixer or food processor. You can do it either way, but it's used for the shortbread recipe. Now all I have to do is mix it all together and it's for me shortbread dough. Now what I'm going to do is pour the edges of the shortbread to give it a level, make it level. The shortbread mixture has been put into the bottom of the the, the tin. Now you're going to put it in. 180 degrees for leave it in until it is risen so the caramel part I've got the butter which is 125 grams castor sugar which is 60, 60 grams and also the golden syrup which is 100 grams so what I'm doing is to melt it together like a caramel bit you can have it on a low medium eight what I did was to weigh the butter and sugar weigh it together in the same bowl what I've also added is the 410 tin of condensed milk now give it a stir until it is all caramelised and, and it is golden colour now important thing to you is, do not let that burn. Now this is a caramel mixture. While the mixture is has thickened up, what I'm gonna do is put it in with the shortbread mixture.
Now I've got the caramel poured in. What I'm going to do is leave it in for for another hour or so until it is sol until it is solidified. For the chocolate topping, is I got two hundred grams of plain chocolate. What I'm going to do is heat the chocolate over simmering water. You can either do it like this or do it in your microwave for thirty second for thirty seconds. As it is, the chocolate is beginning to melt over simmering water from the saucepan. What you want to do is let the chocolate melt into a liquid chocolate. Let it melt into a liquid form until it becomes a topping enough. What I'm going to do is put this into our shop on top of the caramel. Now the shop bread is done, what I'm going to do is put the fridge until it is set or leave to cool. So if you like this recipe, don't forget to put your thumbs up and comment down what recipes you want me to do next. And autumn is coming up, so if you want to make a nut. Any autumn recipe, suggest one of them in the comments down box below. Bye.